Hi, welcome to the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini Review Video. I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. What's up guys, Saul here. Hope your day is going well. So today we'll be checking out the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. Nice. Now, if you guys didn't know this, I really do love 3D print. Even though I haven't 3D printed anything in a long time, my Ender 3 was giving me a lot of trouble and it was honestly discouraging. This printer has brought a new life, a new chapter in my 3D printing journey. 3D printing is one of the coolest hobbies, one of the best tech creations and innovations. I can't get over the fact that you can create something from scratch and have it printed within the same day. I'll give you guys some examples of things that I modeled and printed on the same day. Anyway, let's get started. So, this is the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. Bamboo Labs makes one of the best budget-friendly beginner 3D printers, especially if you're someone who doesn't like to tinkle with putting things together and all that sort of stuff. Little background, my first 3D printer was the Ender 3 Pro. Now, I got that a few years ago. Well, a lot of years ago. It's been quite a while. At that time, 3D printer was really new, and putting that 3D printer together was actually really fun. I had an amazing experience putting it together and learning all about the different parts of the 3D printer. Now, in this stage, I really just want to model and 3D print things. I won't talk too much about the specs in detail because there are YouTube channels that are dedicated to 3D printing and, and they've already gone through all of that stuff. What I really want to talk about is the simplicity of this 3D printer. Putting it together, having it calibrate, and making your first print. This printer has full auto calibration, full metal linear rails and bearings, vibration and flow rate compensation, under 48 decibels of low noise in the silent mode. This printer from my experience is really quiet compared to my old printer which was the Ender 3 Pro. This version that I got did come with the AM AMS light, which means you can have four colors or four different filament types connected to the 3D printer at once. You can get the A1 Mini alone for like $200 or add the AMS light for $150 more. I got this as a Christmas present for my lovely wife and I'm truly grateful for it. The first print that I printed came straight from the 3D printer itself and of course it was the Benchy. And that honestly showcases how simple it is to use this 3D printer. Straight out of the box you have a calibrate, click two buttons and you're off and printing. Of course if you want to print cooler things you have to get on your computer and find some cool models or make your own cool models. There is also a bigger version of this model, the A1, which is slightly bigger than this one. One thing about this 3D printer is it poops. My Ender 3 never pooped, so I was not expecting that. And later on, you'll see I 3D print a model that collects the poop. Not actual poop, but you know what I mean. Filament that is excess, it poops. Another cool feature about this 3D printer is the camera. From the desktop or mobile application, you can check on your 3D prints with the camera. You can also record time lapse with that camera. And as you can see from the quality of the print, it looks really good. This far exceeded my expectations. This 3D printer has really blown my mind. The first model that I created and I did it in AutoCAD Fusion 360 is this IKEA Skodis pegboard keyboard holder. The previous one that I had would always break when heavy keyboards were on it. So this one that I modeled fixes those issues that I had with the model that I found online. So my version is thicker, more durable, and has reinforcements at those places that it would always break. I will have the STL and 3MF files available on things and in the physical versions on my Etsy shop or on my website. I really love the design of it. It came out really good in the prints. I'll also have these available. And then the last thing that I 3D modeled and printed, this design is supposed to make it seem like the speaker is floating and I left a little bit of bounce to it just for bass. So there's a bit of room for the speaker to have bass without reverberating on the desk. I love the design and I like it a lot better than what I had before. I will be making more 3D models, so follow me on things, hit that subscribe button, and follow me on my Etsy shop. All my products will be under the Salt Studio brand. So if you see Salt Studio, it's me. And if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment below, what do you think about the 3D printer? Bamboo Labs is honestly really killing it, especially in the budget field. These 3D printers are extremely high tech and I'm giving this 3D printer a 10 out of 10. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.